Hi, this is Dale with SpywarePreventionGuy.com. Now, you've installed ESET's Nod32 free 30-day trial of their antivirus product. Now what? Well, let's go ahead and jump in, and we'll show you a few things here to get you started. Down here in the notification tray is the ESET Nod32 icon. I like to call it the green eye. Uh, if you notice, I'm going to right-click this icon, and you see the context menu is pretty minimal. So we're actually going to double-click it. And one of the first things you want to do is run the first update. So you can click update and update your virus signature database. I've already actually done mine. Uh, another one you want to do is go to setup and go to the advanced mode. And we want to open up the advanced setup tree. This is where you'll find all the settings for Nod32 here. Uh, a few things I like to do is to enable document protection if you have programs like Microsoft Word that run macros you want that additional protection system updates I actually like to turn that one off Windows already notifies you when you're needing Windows updates you don't need another second program nagging you uh, the context menu I like to make sure that that's integrated in however like I showed you in the beginning that right click on the menu down here didn't show very much and I also like to set mine to full clean first and another section here that might be important to some people especially IT types are exclusions if you have any folders that might contain info that might get picked up by an antivirus program just due to the nature of what it does and you want to uh, exclude it from scanning you need to add it here so you can click add and just browse to wherever it is and select it I'm done with that anyways after you've made all your changes you can click OK and close that window now watch when I right click the menu here as you can see the right click context menu has a lot more information uh, many times if you're installing some program or doing a major Windows update you might actually need to disable the antivirus. It's going to prompt you and see if you really want to do it. I'll say yes. Notice my icon goes red. That's to let you know it's disabled or has some issue. I'm going to right click it and turn it back on. Screen again. Uh, you can also uh, come over here and run your updates from here. And you can actually get to the advanced setup directly from this menu, just where we were before. You can actually go your quarantine and see what nods picked up in quarantine for you if you actually had picked up a program it would show up right here in the quarantine list here and you can find out the name and or the path of whatever the infection was and with that said that's pretty much it that's all I wanted to show you for now hope you enjoyed this brief video about nod 32 this is Dale the spyware prevention guy thank you and bye bye